There's a waiting room full of people and animals. What am I supposed to do? I'm so nervous. My name is Dr. Flamingo, veterinarian. Yes, it is kind of funny that I have an animal name and I'm a veterinarian. But that does not mean that I'm not extremely nervous for my first day. I hope everything goes perfect today. Um, can I have Mim Kitty, the Sphinx cat? That's us, come on. Hello, I am Dr. Flamingo. Now, how old is Mim Kitty? She's two years old. Wow, you're really good at getting to know your patient. Thank you, it's very important to me. Alrighty, so this says that she just had kittens about a few days ago, right? Yep, four healthy little babies. All right, let's check her to make sure she's all right. It's okay, Mim, you're just having your heart checked. Her heart sounds wonderful. All right, she looks plenty healthy, and have you noticed any odd behavior since she's given birth? She just cries a lot, mainly at night. Oh, oh yes. My teacher taught me about this a bunch in my class. Oh wow, at least you know what's going on. Night pain is a serious case, but it can be cured with this pain medicine. And it usually happens because they're up all night taking care of the babies. Oh, that makes sense. All right, so this is the kitty pain reliever. So you cut this in half, or you can crush it into her food, because she can't swallow a whole pill. And then you give it to her and she'll feel better. Oh wow, that's perfect, thanks. Well, I think your cat should be fine in three nights. Have fun with Mim Kitty. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Yes, my first patient was a success. Grizzly bear, the mini golden turtle. Oh, I am Grizz. Come on, buddy, it's your turn. Have a seat while I erase the board. I'm Dr. Flamingo and you have Grizz, right? Yep, this is Grizzly Bear. And what seems to be the problem with Grizz today? Well, he newly got a haircut, and ever since he got a haircut, he's been acting sick and drowsy, and he will not run with me. Oh, I see. He's about four years and about 15 pounds, right? Yep, that's correct. So you say he does not play with you. What about when you have his favorite treat and his favorite toy? Nope. He doesn't try to steal the cat food, and he doesn't play with me with his red ball. Interesting, because usually they'll play with their own toys. Is he playing with other dogs' toys? Nope. Hmm. And you say this all started after his haircut? Yep, that's all correct. I think I know what the problem is. I think he has haircut disease. It floats around sometimes, and sometimes gets on people's hair cutting tools. So, I need to give him a small shot, and it'll get rid of the haircut disease. <laughs> a shot? No, I can't watch him get a shot. You are free to wait in the waiting room if you'd like. Okay, I'll do that. See ya. Have a good time with your shot. Oh no, Grizz, you have to stay here. I just have to run to the other room. I feel so bad that he has to get a shot. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm cool. He's okay. I have to mix all the medicine together or else the shot won't work. All right, Grace, I have your shot. Grace? Grace? Grace, where are you? Oh no, this isn't happening. I lost my patient on the first day. I cannot let his owner know. I must find him. Chris, Chris the bear. Doctor Flamingo. Oh, um, I was um, how are you? And hi. Hello. What are you doing out here? And where's Grace? Oh, I'm going to find him, his shot. Um, he, he's in the room, he's, he, I, I suggest don't go in there with him. He's, he's really nervous, he'd like to be alone right now. Oh, okay, you must really know animals. Yep, I sure do, um, see you later. Chris the bear, where are you? Where would a small dog want to hide? Aha! Oh, 
Lewis is not in here. Oh, maybe he's in this room. Grace, where are you? Nope, not under the bed. What about behind the pillows? Oh. Huh. Why can't I find this dog? He must be in the other room. Where is he? Probably in here. A uh, Dr. Flamingo? Oh, yes? Oh, how can I help you? Do you need something? Um, our appointment was 10 minutes ago. Can you see my dog, Charlie? Oh, um, of course. Uh, I, I can come see him. I'm, I'm not busy at all. Um, let, I lost track of time. Let, let's go. Great, come on, Charlie. Um, yes, all right, this is Charlie, five years old. And he is here for the ear infection, right? All right, uh, thank you. Um, yep, ear infection. Why are you so speedy, though? Um, I just uh, feel bad that you are um, late. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Can you tell me what he needs to fix the ear infection? Well, um, yes, I need to uh, check his ear, and then I need to dissolve one of these in the ear dropper and then I will um, put a band-aid on it. Okay, uh, sounds good. Are you confident? Yes, I am confident. This is the easiest case I've had all day. Um, so uh, I've just been really frazzled by uh, patients today, but I'll be really good with this one. Good boy. Let's check your ear. This might tickle a bit. Alrighty, good boy. Let me get your medicine and you'll be all fixed up. All right, so we set this in, and once the top layer is dissolved, then we take it out. Now we put the drops in his ear, and we heal him right up. Wow, you are a great vet. Oh, thank you. Except I lost my patient. Wait, what was that? Oh, I said um, I never lost my patience. Yep, that's a great job for you. Uh, this is taking forever. How long can it be to give a dog, one shot. I'm gonna go check. Now you get to pick out a band-aid that you think Charlie would love. Go ahead. Um, Dr. Flamingo? Oh, oh hello again. Um, sorry, I'm with another patient for a second. Uh, this was an emergency. Where is Grizz? That is an emergency. Oh, he's just recovering from this shot and um, he'll be fine in a few moments. Um, have a seat in the waiting room. I've been waiting for over half an hour in the waiting room. Oh yes, um, uh, just uh, wait a few more minutes. He's going to be um, ready uh, as soon as I tell you he is. Oh, more waiting? Fine, five more minutes and I'm coming back. All right, I'll have him quite ready by then. Hopefully. The sloth band-aid. He'll love it. All right, excellent choice. Uh, let's let's put it on. Thank you. Quickly, come on. I have other patients to see. Um, will you please hurry and rip it open? It's just rubbish. I didn't want to rip the sloth. Oh, let me help you. I'm in a bit of a rush. I'm sorry, but let me help you. There you go, your dog's fine, let's go. All right, thank you for being here, have a nice day. Um, good job, Charlie, come on, up, up, up. All right, bye, thank you. I have to find Grizz, time is ticking. All right, he has to be in this back bedroom now. Where are you, dear? I really need to give you your shorts. Grizz, where are you? Oh, I can't believe I lost a patient. Grace, what are you doing? What is going on here? Uh, Dr. Flamingo? Oh, um, hello. I just saw my dog run by here. You saw your dog? Like, Grace, right? You're talking about Grace. Uh, where'd he go? He went that way. Did you lose my dog? Ooh. Oh, um, no, uh, no, um, lose is such a strong word. I just misplaced him, you know? What? We have to go find him. Yes, I've been looking, but it'll help to have two people. Let's go. I think he was in the pantry. 
He's not in here. Let's go check somewhere else. I'll pick him out with a perfect band-aid. Great. Wow, Grizz, you must be feeling better. You made us run around the whole clinic. I didn't feel like a rainbow band-aid. Great choice. Well, even though he did get lost, thanks for taking care of him, because he seems to be way better. You're welcome. And thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up.